Hi, welcome to video number two of our Big Three Family Night. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to play uh, two different fact family games using our game board, 12-sided uh, dice, and the lovely magic dry erase markers. So, uh, if you actually flip over your game board, there are the instructions for two different games. I'm actually going to start with this bottom one right here. Uh, the supplies are exactly what we've given you, the whiteboard marker, two dice, and the game board. Uh, for this one, they're going to, you're going to write the fact number that your student is working on down the left side of both templates. Uh, say, for example, that they're trying to pass off their threes right now, uh, you'll write three all the way down, and I'll show you how to do that. Number uh, two, roll one die and record the number on the right side and then multiply them. Uh, take turns rolling the dice until the page is all the way full. And then an extension is you can try and race and see who can fill the side the fastest. So let's practice. So say, for example, my student is currently working on passing off their three times tables. So all down the left side, I'm going to write the number three all the way down before I even get started. And I'm going to do that for both columns. Alright, so uh, we're going to go ahead and start off. You only need one dice for this game. So this, uh, I forgot to tell you what, this is going to be the student side. And this is going to be the adult side. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the student. Uh, they're going to take one of the dice and roll it. Okay, we got the number 10. So now they're going to write 10 right here. And they're going to multiply. 3 times 10 equals... 30. Now it's the adult's turn to roll the dice. 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Then it's the student's turn again. Oh, 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Adult's turn. 3 times 3 equals 9. And you'll continue on until you finish the whole page. Uh, Another extension, like I said, is racing. So you could have the student using one dice, the adult using the other dice, and seeing who can finish the fastest or get to the bottom the fast, rolling the dice and doing the multiplication simultaneously. Or you could always use a timer. So that is our first fluency practice game. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our next game. So go ahead and flip that game board back over again. So this one's called Multiplication Dice Battles. Uh, same supplies. Uh, first, we're going to start with partner number one. They're going to roll two dice and record the numbers and multiply. Then partner number two is going to take their turn, roll both dice, and multiply. The partner with the, the higher number wins the round, and then you're going to tally up the winner for each round. The partner who wins the most rounds wins the game. So if we start on this side, again, we have the student side and the adult side. And we start with student rolling both dice. So that is 6 times 8. 6 times 8 is 48. Good roll. Now it's the adult's turn. 9 times 8. 9 times 8 is 72. So then we go ahead and I look at this. Uh, which number is greater? Well, 48 is less than 72, so I won that round. Uh, it's important to use that vocabulary, less than, greater than. 72 is greater than 48, or 48 is less than 72. So you're going to go ahead and come all the way down here to the bottom and give yourself a tally. Then student starts again. 11 times 6. 6 times 11 equals 66. 4 times 5 is 20. Well, 66 is greater than 20, so the student won that round. So then you'd come back to the bottom and give them a point. And you would keep going and rolling the dice. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 10 is 40. Well, 16 is less than 40, so get that lovely point down there at the bottom. 
and you keep going until you feed up the whole thing. The person with the most points at the end wins. And that is how to play our fact uh, fluency games. If you have any questions on how to play, uh, please make sure you message me and I hope you enjoyed this video.